Hello everyone, Luis here. Uh, today I'm super excited to make this video. It's something that I'm expecting for a long time now and it feels like Christmas to me, <laughs> literally, because I'm waiting for this guy here since the uh, late December, which was the expected, the first expected date to be delivered, but because of some delays, they, I just received it, it now. It's the longer orange 4K, okay? And I will explain you why I'm super excited about this printer uh, during my unboxing. And the idea is I, I will do this unboxing today with you. I'm just received it and I'm going to open it. And in the next days, I'm going to uh, test it and I will make my usual uh, in-depth review okay about this printer but yeah, i'm super excited <laughs> to to test this this thing and i i don't know a longer i don't have any other uh, longer printer this is my first longer printer and i have to say uh, one thing uh, so far they are being super super good and careful uh, about uh, this product okay uh, when I, I first thought about a pledge for that, I, I bought this one on Kickstarter, okay? I uh, contacted them, I sent a message and say, hey, I would like to, to know more information about this printer. Since I had other 4K small printer that it was not uh, that good, uh, I had some problems, so I would like to know more about it. And they uh, replied back and they gave me tons of information about this printer. They sent me pictures of the, the internals, uh, all the technical uh, information related to the light source and things like that. So they were super, super great with me uh, on that, okay? If the product is good, has their customer support, I would say it, it will be great. It will be uh, good for everyone to, to get this printer. So. Uh, Enough talking and let's let's start the, the unboxing here. Uh, one thing, one important thing, okay? Because they delayed the, the deliver of this printer, and important to say, the delay was not because of any uh, uh, miscalculation or anything like that. It's because the quality control is pretty good, and during the, the test, they detected some issues and they fixed that and to fix it that it took some time so it's okay so it took this extra months for them to to change the the what was defective and things like that and now the printer is ready to go and because of that they sent uh, a compensation which was uh, two bottles of resin okay um, so everyone that is on kickstarter uh, and Pledge it for, for that, we receive this compensation, okay? So let's let's get started here. Again, as I say, it is as I received it. It just arrived now and I'm recording for you guys, okay? I will try to be brief. Oh, it's upside down. Let me just change here. Good packaging. I need to say, very, very well packaged. Another important thing about this printer is that uh, this is the color screen version, okay? But it's possible to upgrade to the mono screen. Uh, they will start to sell the, the screen in the next months. So as soon as I get the, that it will be available, I will definitely buy the, the mono screen. But for now, it's okay for us to test and use the color screen. 
And the big thing about the mono screen, it's not only uh, because it's mono screen, right? But also they claim that uh, the mono screen uh, has a better resolution on the UI axis, I think. The, the regular, this, the color version is 31 uh, microns of uh, resolutions on the XY. And according to them, the, the mono version has 31 on the X and 10.5 uh, microns on the Y. So this is interesting. I really would like to see that. And the reason for that, according to Dan, is a technology that they developed, uh, an algorithm that they developed that use what they call subpixels. So I would like to check that. It will be interesting. So let's see which color they sent me. It's the regular resin. So let's see. Hope it's gray. Let's see. Dark gray. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'd prefer gray resins. Uh, maybe both are the same. Let's see. This dark gray seems looks very a very nice resin, and I'm really excited to try that ivory white okay one white one gray i don't like white that much but it's it's fine free resin right so this is the box you see here it's the color version well packaged let's see And another thing that when I contacted them to talk about the, to know more information about the printer, and they sent me tons of, print, of information, is that they, they asked me to send them a list of things that I didn't like on, the, on my other uh, printer, and things that uh, I would like to see <laughs> on a printer that I think they, they are good, improvements and things like that. So, uh, this, is, this is great, right? They, they are uh, willing to, uh, to listen to the customers, right? And I sent them out tons of information and suggestions. I don't know if all the, the suggestions they put on this machine, but yeah. Let's see. And here I have a lot of fab films. Yeah, I don't know if it's a lot. I think it's two. Yeah. Two extra fab films. Great. Filters. Uh, okay. More trash. Here is the cover and different from other uh, longer printers. I think the longer 30 something that came with the the cover came uh, disassembled. I needed to assemble it and they received a lot of criticism on that. This one comes already assembled. Okay, that's, that's nice. Thanks longer. Uh, what do we have here? We have okay, silicon, whatever. Cable. We have here okay, a screw. Okay, some uh, Allen keys and some papers and gloves, the USB key. Oh, interesting. I think it, it's a cover for the, for the vet. 
what do we have here? It's an AC adapter. Looks fine. Good quality. Let's see what else we have here. I think it's the build plate here. Oh yeah, it's a plastic scraper. Good one. A metal scraper. Yeah. Okay. Okay. -ish. One. Let's see. That. It's the build plate. I'm really curious to see that. Okay, here. Good quality build plate. Really liked it. Four screws level system, nice. They have like a loop on the. It's different from others that have this like triangle shape. This one is more for the desc the descent angle is for one side only. Interesting. Let's see how that works. There's nothing else here and the printer itself finally this thing is heavy surprisingly heavy for a small printer okay let me put that here and yay that's it let's talk a little bit about this this thing here, okay. First, it's a small 4K screen, so it's a 5.5 inches screen with 4K resolution, which again is 31 microns of resolutions on XY. Uh, the construction is all metal. I think it's aluminum. Very solid construction. Very solid construction. We have here the vet. And yay, they've done something that I asked. Okay, there is a, it's a plastic vet, but it seems like a, a good quality vet. It's not like this. Hmm, looks, looks fine. It's not, they have the markings here for maximum. There 300 milliliters of resin. Nice. We have a dual linear rails for the, the Z height. Uh, let me check here if there is a screen protection. Sector. I don't know. Looks like it has a screen protector, but I'm I'm not sure of that. Okay, I'm really not sure of that. But it's pretty solid, well made, <coughs> all metal. Uh, the board inside of this printer is longer proprietary uh, board. They do not use any sheet board or anything like that. It's their own thing, um, which is it's interesting. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, this thing is sturdy. It's all metal. Even that part here of the Z, it's metal. It's all, all aluminum. That's, that's great. Uh, this vet is plastic, but I think you can buy the, the metal one. It uses the same as the longer 30, so you can buy it and, and use it if you want. But to be honest, it seems totally fine to use this one. You can change the fab. It's not, it, it has like an aluminum frame here that you can unscrew to uh, change the fab. Okay, there's no no problem at all, I can use this one. 
let me just uh, turn it on for you guys to see the button to turn it on is on the back the USB is on the side let's see it has a relatively loud fan <laughs> settings move hmm. up hmm. 10 millimeters ah, I can choose 10, 51 let's 50 The lead screw is the lead screw is really nice. It seems better than other printers that I had a chance to to try. Nice. Open this thing here for you guys to see. As I said, I've, I'm feeling like Christmas today. <laughs> I was expecting that as a Christmas gift for myself. But yeah, it finally arrived looks pretty looks pretty good to me what do you think really nice it's a beautiful printer I think not bad not bad longer not bad yeah I'm not going to level it now uh, but yeah, that's it. That's the printer. I'm going to level it, test it, and as soon as possible, I will post another video for you guys, okay? Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.